So thank you so much for coming on today, Ms. Page. Like I said, my name is Willow Sales. I'm from Etowah County, and I am one of the Alabama 4-H State Ambassadors 2020-2021 members. Um, Ms. Page, could you please introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Paige Hilburn. I am a registered dental hygienist in Gaston, Alabama at Pediatric Dentistry East. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Why did you become a dental hygienist? I became a dental hygienist by accident. Well, I came to dentistry by accident, honestly. Um, I was working at a daycare. Um, I had recently been divorced. I was like, you know what? It's, it's time to choose. So, um, I had a who went to dental assistant school and she loved it. So I thought, why not try? And I jumped in and loved dentistry, everything about it. So that's kind of how I came into it. And then um, I started working and went to dental hygiene school. So I've just kind of worked up since then. All right. So how would you become a dental hygienist? How do you become a dental hygienist? Okay, so in the state of Alabama, there's two ways to become a dental hygienist. You can go to a two to four year college. Um, Wallace State offers that um, program. Um, it will allow you at the end to have um, a degree of science and dental hygiene. You can continue on and get a master's. Um, you will have a national hygiene license. Um, so that's the first option. The second option is you can work as a dental assistant for two years and your office can opt to send you to the Alabama Dental Hygiene Program at UAB. And that program is a year. So it, uh, sorry. So, um, uh, that's the, that's the path that I chose. I, I was a dental assistant for two years and then went to the Alabama Dental Hygiene Program. Um, at UAB. So when you finish that program, you only have a license to work in the state of Alabama. That license does not carry to any other state. Okay. And that's one of the drawbacks to that, but you know, if you're not planning on moving out of Alabama, then it, it works perfectly fine. Thank you. So what does a day as a dental hygienist look like for you? Every day is a little different. A lot of factors go into what your day looks like. How many doctors do you have? How many assistants do you have? Um, no day really looks the same, <laughs> um, especially working in pediatrics, you know. So, uh, but I guess in general, you know, you put on all your PPE, which is all kind of crazy to everybody right now, but um, you just try to make the best of your day, clean teeth. Yeah. But it, it, there's no factors as to what your day is going to look like. I love that, that diversity. Do you enjoy having that diversity every day? You just suit up and do whatever is laid no. out. Whatever hits you. Okay, so with that being said, what is the best thing about your job? I love this is my favorite part. I love working with kids. Um, I, I think, I, I just don't think I would ever be able to work with adults. I love working with kids. They're fun. You can be laid back. It's not so stuffy. You can just kind of have fun with them. Um, but I, I, my absolute favorite part is just having a kid who comes in who's apprehensive, scared. Maybe they had a bad experience at another office and and I'm able to make them feel comfortable and welcome and loved and cared for. And they end up being the dentist. I love that. I love that. So with that, um, what is the most difficult thing about your job? Time management. Time management is really difficult. Staying on, on task, on target with your time. If your patient comes in late, your whole day is fine. Um, just trying to, to just stay on top of every little thing. Um, our assistants help us run on time and help us keep things moving and on task. And we could not do our jobs <laughs> without them. So pretty much timing is huge. Yeah. yeah. So through all of that, how do you stay motivated? I know you're a busy woman 
because um, I have the honor of working with you and you have a family. How do you stay motivated in your job and just your home life? I, my work ethic, I think, just kind of keeps me motivated. I love getting up. I love going to work. I've, I've always worked since I was 15, just like you. Um, I had a work permit, and I, I went to work every day, and I've just always had to. So I just, it's just what I do. It's in my bones. It's in my blood. That's what we do. <laughs> All right. So would you recommend your career? I would absolutely recommend my career. It really, there's room for growth. Um, it's so diverse. You work with so many different kinds of people, um, you know, of all different backgrounds and religions and cultures. Like it's, it, it's really diverse. So you're exposed to, it, you're open-minded to a lot more um, with just coming in contact with different people. All right. If you had a chance to go back, would you choose a different career? I think I have found my calling, so I wouldn't say that I would choose a different career. Um, if I could go back in addition to being hygienist, I don't even know how I would work it out, but in my fantasy bubble that I was in, um, I would love to be some sort of, uh, some sort of um, a counselor, marriage counselor, um, some sort of, I don't even know, but something, some sort of counselor. Um, so Life issues thrown my way. I would just love to be able to help somebody else maybe navigate something that they may be. Okay. My last question. What advice would you give a youth like me who's interested in your career? Um, just like, just dig into what you're doing. Ask those hard questions. Go to different occupations, different fields, and um, just see what they have to offer. What strengths are there? What weaknesses are there? And it's, you know, you're not going to find, it may not be your first, you know, opportunity to go into. So just seek around, take your time, make sure it's something you want to do. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Paige. That's all the questions I had. Was there anything that you would like to add or any questions you would like to ask? Um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, just, I would really just everybody to, to be like Willow. <laughs> just, dig into, just dig into it and see what works for you, your lifestyle, your interests, your hobbies. Make yourself happy in the long run. Thank you. You're welcome.